Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Hillary. Today we're going to be discussing the Animal Crossing Direct, all of the updates that were announced, as well as the new DLC, Happy Home Paradise. So a little bit of time has passed since I last played Animal Crossing. I'm almost done with my island and I'm running out of ideas as to what to do with the open spaces I have left. So while we watch the Direct and I share my thoughts and opinions on it, I'm going to go around my island and do some general maintenance, like picking up all these pesky weeds that you can see in the home screen. I do have another island called Riften, which I have not played in about 5 months. This island, I've only been away for about one month, and for whatever reason, this island has about five times the amount of weeds as my other island. Also, I did record this video the day of the Animal Crossing Direct. However, I've taken the past week just to watch a bunch of videos about the update and all the information that was put out. I'll also admit that I binge-watched a bunch of reaction videos, and by far, my favorite reaction is Patrick's, aka Naten Talk. Seeing all of the other creators and players get excited about this update has made me that much more excited to play myself and to see all the new changes coming on November 5th. And quickly, before we get into the direct, make sure that you subscribe so you do not miss any of my videos coming out with all the new updates and content that will be available. I also just got a new Nintendo Switch yesterday, so now I can record videos on my previous island, Riften, which is a cottagecore theme if that is more your style. Anyways, Nintendo started the direct off very strong by introducing Brewster and his cafe, The Roost, to our islands. This will be found in the museum on the second level next to the art gallery. Along with Brewster, there are also some other cool features that have been added to the cafe, including an amiibo phone where you can invite villagers and NPC characters of your choosing if you have the amiibo cards. You can also invite your own friends to your island and have a cup of coffee with them. As of right now, there isn't a whole lot to do when your friends visit, there's no co-op gameplay or challenges, so I like that they added something additional that you can do with your friends when they do visit. Throughout the Direct, they introduced a bunch of surprises. The first big one was to bring Cap'n back to the Animal Crossing world. Cap'n has appeared in previous Animal Crossing games and he has finally joined New Horizons, which is so exciting. He will bring you to Mystery Islands, which is different from when you use Nook Mile tickets and fly out of the Dodo Airport. Cap'n will bring you to islands where it's a different season, a different time of day, and just have different items that you wouldn't normally find on your island. I've also seen rumors that he will have special fruits on his island, which I hope is true. I would love to see new fruits. The next big surprise was the addition and expansion of Harv's Island. This is one of the features that I'm most excited about with the update. I feel like I'm constantly waiting around for Leaf, Sahara, and all the other different NPCs to visit my island so I can get items that you can't get without them. So with the update, they will all now have campers on Harv's Island that you can visit daily. I do believe that there will still be a rotation where they set up shop on our plaza and visit our island. I believe that when they do this, there will probably be an away sign at their camper, or maybe the camper will just be gone for the day, indicating that they are on our island that day. And out of all the NPCs to set up shop on Harvest Island, I'm most excited for Reese and Cyrus because as you could just see, we're now able to customize items that you would purchase with your Nook Miles. I have personally spent so much time on Nookazan trying to get color variants of items that are not available on my island, so I think it's really great that they made this an option in the game, and now you can go ahead and just customize the items that you purchase with your Nook Mile tickets. I think that the feature I'm least excited about would have to be this one. It's the group stretching activity. However, I do think that this is really awesome for people who are playing for a long time and want to get up and stretch and not stop playing. Now you can do both at the same time. I personally will not utilize this feature, but I might try it out in the beginning when I get the update. I just don't really see myself using it more than once. New Horizons has also introduced a new island ordinance where you can get your villagers up and going earlier or have them stay out later. You can also visit Tom Nook and change the exterior of your house into a different style like a log cabin. I'm so excited for that. They also expanded the house storage so now you can have more items in your inventory up to 5,000. Our Nook phones can also be updated for some additional features including this Be a Chef DIY recipe. This means that you can go around and gather new harvested items, such as vegetables, they have potatoes, tomatoes, wheat, sugar cane, carrots. You can use those items to actually create food. And the cool thing about this is you can eat the meals to get more energy to dig up trees and break rocks, 
or you can place the meals down and use them as decoration. To make them, you would just approach a stove and start cooking. It's going to act like a workbench and from there you can either eat it or put it out for display. This is a feature that we've been introduced to in the past on Thanksgiving Day, however now is a permanent feature. Another update to the Nook phone is the Pro Decorating app. With this, you can hang items from the ceiling. You can also change the wall colors and have one wall be a different paint or a wallpaper. This will just really elevate the houses. I personally never really decorate the houses, but with these updates, I'm really looking forward to furnishing the rooms in my house. Another thing that I'm very much looking forward to is the increase in numbers of bridges and inclines that you can have on your island. Previously, we could only have 8 of each, and now we can have 10. The update also includes some additional fencing. I'm obsessed with the large lattice fencing as well as the log wall fencing. I cannot wait to use these two on my island. In addition to this, you can also start to customize the fencing. So you can change the colors for certain fencing, which I think will just help out a lot of people. Sometimes there's a fence that I like, but I don't like the color, and now we can go ahead and change that. Another update coming to the Nook phone is the Pro Camera app. This will allow you to use the phone in a first person view, so as you walk around the island, the camera will view what your villager would view. This update will allow you to take some really awesome pictures of your island that you wouldn't have been able to take otherwise. Our villagers will also be getting some updates, including some new hairstyles and some new reactions, including a double wave, which looks so adorable. Another thing that I'm looking forward to is the new items added, which you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. There's this really nice curved street light, as well as a new fountain and some carnival furniture, which does look customizable based on some other clips sprinkled in throughout the direct. However, I think one of the best features that we're getting with this update is the new exterior storage, which you can place on your island. This way, when your pockets are full, you can go right to it without having to go through a loading screen of entering your house. You can put items in, take items out of your storage. I think this will just really help with the gameplay and make things a lot easier. You can take this in your pockets, put it down the area you're working on so you don't have to keep going back and forth between your house. And they've also added an ATM which you can put on your island so that way you don't have to go through the loading screen when entering resident services. So when you have bells you can go right to it wherever you put it on your island and access the bells that you might need to buy an item or to deposit some. KK Slider is also getting an upgrade of his own, including some new songs which you can add to your library, as well as this really adorable music box. I can't wait to get that. I think it's so cute. However, one of the big things that they announced, which was kind of a surprise, I didn't really see this coming, was the return of the gyroids. And with this, you can dig them up, you can grow them, you can customize them. At this point, I really feel like you can customize almost anything in the game. But the two things I'm looking forward to customizing is obviously the fencing as well as the items that you get with Nook Miles. With all the new customization options, the opportunity to create a theme for your island is truly endless. I can't wait to return to my cottagecore island and to redo it and just revamp everything using all the new upgrades that are coming out. With that being said, one of the items that I desperately need on my old island and probably this one is a permanent ladder, which we have finally gotten and again you can customize it and change the colors to fit your theme. This way you can put it right up against a cliff, you don't have to go and run around to find the incline, you don't have to carry a ladder on you, you can just climb right up wherever you place the ladder. To get the permanent ladder, all you have to do is visit Nook's Cranny and buy the DIY recipes, that way you can build it and place them around your island. Another feature that they've added is the ability to squeeze through furniture. So now when we decorate our houses and jam pack it with all the items we can, we can finally get around. And you guys, look at that froggy chair. They listened to us, they heard us, they delivered, and we finally got it. We also finally got the ability to go visit our villagers at their house. They'll invite us to come visit, and we can actually invite them to come visit us at our house. This is something that the game has severely been lacking, but I feel with this upgrade we'll also be getting some new interactions. With villagers that I've had for a while, I pretty much have all my dreamies and I don't plan on having them leave. You get the same prompts over and over again, so I think we'll get some new dialogue and language with them, which is really exciting. So that was everything coming out with the free update, but they also announced a brand new DLC, Happy Home Paradise. So now when you go to the airport and you visit Oroville, you'll choose, I want to go to work. And where does this bring you? A brand new island full of vacation homes, which you can fill up with different villagers. Yes, now we can finally invite different villagers. There's so many that I want to have on my island, but I don't have them because they don't fit the theme. 
and now I can invite them to come and stay and build a really cute vacation home for them. I'm so excited for this and honestly, it's adding hundreds of hours worth more of gameplay, which I cannot believe because I'm kind of bored at this point. I've done two islands, gets redundant, you get to the end, you're not really sure what to do with the final spaces you have left. And I kind of feel like giving up, but this has just created so much excitement and I can't wait to get back to the game and to play it. I'm feeling really inspired. There's so many ideas that I have for so many different villagers. And as we'll see in a little bit, there are also new buildings that you can design for, including schools, hospitals. They really put so much into this DLC. I cannot wait to play it and to design all these beautiful homes for all these different villagers that I've never been able to have before. So right now they're showing us the process of setting up a vacation home for a villager. Right now they're starting the design process for Maple's home. And can you see this furniture? This new little country cottage furniture? I am so excited for this. I'm going to completely restart my house, re-gut it, take everything out, and fill it with this furniture. I think it's so cute. Look at that. It's adorable. And look at the ceiling lights. And as you move it around, it actually illuminates whatever is underneath it. So it really does kind of highlight and give that illuminated effect as if there was actually a ceiling light above that object. And not only are you decorating the interior of their houses, you actually get to design the exterior as well. And this uses a grid-like system where you just put down the objects, but you also put down fencing, you can put down trees. This feature where they show the tree and going through the different stages of it is just crazy. I wish that we could use this in the real game, but I'm really happy that they brought this feature to the DLC. That way, when you're designing their houses, you don't have to dig up trees or worry about bringing them from your island. You can just place them down and set them to how you want them. You can also change the time of day and the season. I don't know if this is permanent or if it's just showing you how it'll look during that time of day and during that season. But based on the map that they show, it does look like different islands are in different types of seasons. So who knows? They give sneak peeks into villager homes that have been designed and during these sneak peeks they show so many new objects that you can put in the game and you can bring them back and play with them in your own island. It's not just exclusive to the DLC, the items that you get in this game you can actually bring back and place on your own island as well. Something else that you can also bring back to your island, specifically your home, is the use of these half walls, the dividers, the counters, the columns. This way you can take a room in your house and make it look like it's two. And something that Patrick or Nintendo Talk said during his reaction video was Sims Who. And seriously, Sims Who. This looks like a room made in The Sims. It's crazy how much detail you can now put into your houses. And not only are we getting some new half walls and dividers, you can also change the lighting. You can change the colors, you can dim them, make them brighter. They also added soundscapes, which creates this ambient sound in a room. By using this, you can really just set the vibe for a house that you're doing for a villager. If it's a beach house, you can have little wave sounds. I think it's really great. They also added this new polishing feature, which you can interact with the items and clean them to create the sparkle effect, have butterflies fly around them. I don't know if you can only do this within a house or if you can do it outside on an island, but I think for a fairy core, if you can do this outside, it'll just really add such a great effect with the little butterflies and the sparkles all around your island, but we'll have to see if you can do it outside as well. They also show that you get paid for designing houses. It's a new payment option, but you can use this to buy new items from the store on this island and bring those items back to your own island. And it doesn't stop there, villagers can also share a house. They can be roommates. So this makes it possible to bring even more villagers to this island. They also show these blank buildings, which you can build up to be these public community spaces. So they show a school, a hospital, you can customize the outside, you decorate the inside. I think this is a really great feature that they've added to the DLC because it creates more of an opportunity for interaction between you and your villagers. They can go visit the spaces, you can go and interact with them. It looks like they also can work in these buildings. You can see Vivian teaching a class full of students, Drago working in a kitchen at a restaurant, and even Sherb serving water at that same restaurant. After you've worked on some villager vacation homes, you can actually go ahead and create a little scrapbook which has been added to the Nook phone. So this way you can see all the villagers that have visited your vacation island, by taking pictures of the interiors and exteriors of the houses. You can also go ahead and share these with other players. This way you can share your designs and get inspiration from other content creators playing Animal Crossing. 
You can use amiibos to invite villagers to the island, and this also includes NPCs. So you can have Isabel come to the island and create a dream vacation home for her to go to after a long day of work at the resident services office. You can do the same for Timmy and Tommy, and I hope you can even do it for Tom Nook. Like I said, you can bring a lot of these features back to your own island. So within your house, you can add those walls, the counters, the different lighting. This way you can just really elevate your house to the next level. You can also bring back gifts from the island to give to your villagers, which in turn might prompt them to want to visit the island and get a vacation home of their own. And not only can you give them the option of a vacation home, but you can actually offer to redecorate the house that they have on your own island. This means that if you have a villager whose house you don't like, but you love the villager, over time you might be able to create a different house that'll fit the style of your island a lot better. Happy Home Paradise and the new 2.0 update are going to bring so much more to the game. With all the features, objects, and customizable options, you can really create the island of your dreams. And not only that, but you'll also be able to create dream homes for your villagers. I'm so excited for the update and the new DLC to come out. I have so many ideas of what I want to do. I really want to get back to my first island rift in, but also just work on Windhelm and really build it up and finish it off. Happy Home Paradise and the 2.0 update will be coming out on November 5th. And not only will those be coming out, but a Series 5 of Amiibo cards will also be launching the same day. This includes previously existing NPC characters and villagers, such as Sherb and Raymond. We'll also be getting brand new villagers that you can bring to your island soon. And don't forget, the fall and Halloween seasons have begun. The Halloween event will take place on Halloween, October 31st, with Jack visiting your island. Overall, I'm so happy and excited for all the announcements that were made in the Direct. I'm sure there's even more content that we haven't seen yet. Let me know down below what you're looking forward to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys! Bye.